Welcome to Module 3 of Grade 2. This module covers five chapters as well. However, the discussion will not be sequential in terms of chapter, but sequential in terms of topics. So, we will start with Chapter 10, which is two-step word problems, which connects from the last module. So, when we have two-step bar models, we need to remember that we need to use the three basic bar models. This would be part whole, add-on takeaway, or comparing. Now, the two-step word problems are actually very challenging. So, it's important that before you teach your kids the lesson, that you are very comfortable with the lesson. So if it takes you a few practice problems, then it's okay. So our lesson will start from page 6 of PB to B. Now, in some of the problems, the bar models are given. In other problems, there's no bar model. So it's important that we teach our kids to be able to do the problems without the bar models as well. Now, also, there are problems that will have a question A and a question B. So, if there's a question A and a question B, clearly, it's a two-step bar model. But, there are questions that do not have. So, we need to be able to teach our kids to distinguish when it's going to be a two-step bar model or just a single-step bar model. So, problem one says... There are 22 boys and 16 girls in Vicky's class. There are five more children in Joshua's class than Vicky's class. Question A says, how many children are there in Vicky's class? So clearly the first bar model will have Vicky's class. This is divided into boys and girls. So there are 22 boys and 16 girls. Okay, question is how many students are there in her class? So clearly the question is the total. So if it's the total, we need to add. And to be consistent, we start with 22 plus 16 and again, consistency says we start with a 6, add the 2, that would be 8, and then this will be 3. So there will be 38 total children in Vicky's class, answering question A. However, there's a question B. The question B says, how many children are there in Joshua's class? Now, the bar model that they gave gives Joshua on top of Vicky. But again, to be consistent, what we want is to start with Vicky and put Joshua underneath. The rational being is Vicky's class was mentioned first. So if there's a bar model already, we follow the bar model. But we also need to be able to explain to our kids that it's okay if the bar model is different from what they have. So I'm going to start with Vicky. This is now 38 from A. Okay, and it says Joshua has five more children in his class. So that means Joshua's class is longer and this more is five. So clearly the question is the total because Joshua's is missing. So therefore this will be an addition problem. So 38 plus Five. For consistency, we start with an 8. We need a 2. Therefore, we'll have 3 extra. That will be 13. Which means this will be 4. So in Joshua's class, there are 43 kids. The second problem that we will do is problem number 2. In problem number 2, it says Mr. Nang had a 620 meter long fence. His fence was 279 meters longer than Mr. Cheng's. 
How, what was the total length of the fences together? Okay, in this problem, there's not an A and a B question. However, they gave two separate bar models. So again, as parents, we need to equip our kids to be able to do these problems without the given bar models because they will be asked to do their own in other problems. So the first character was Mr. Nang. And then there's Mr. C. Okay, Mr. Nang had 620 meter fence. 620 meter fence. His fence is longer than Mr. Cheng. So that's longer. So Mr. Cheng is shorter. Okay, so again, in the book, their drawing is the other way around. So that means Mr. Cheng was on top, Mr. Nang is on the bottom. We need to teach our kids to be consistent so that they will be confident. So if they have the given bar model, it's okay to follow the bar model. But if they had to come up with a bar model themselves, then it's best to train them that the first character is on top and the second character is on the bottom. So Mr. Cheng's fence was, his Mr. Nang's fence was 279 meters longer than Mr. Cheng. So the question is how long is, are their fences together? So, but before we can figure out how long together, we need to find Mr. Cheng's first. So that would be like our question A. So since part is missing, this will be a subtraction problem. So 620 minus 279. When we subtract, we need to borrow. So this will be 1. This will be 10. So that will be 1. Again, we need to borrow or regroup. So that will be 5. We cross that out. That becomes 11. So I'm going to put here 11 minus 7. So again, parents, we need to be consistent in the way that we teach our kids. We start with a 7. We need 3 more to get to 10. And we need 1 more to get to 11, making it 4. So if it's needed to be written on the side, write it on the side before you put it on the problem itself. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So there are the length of Mr. Cheng's fence is 431. The question though says, how long are they together? So that means in their setup, they did a compare model again. So this is, um, for me, I would do a, a part whole model. So I'm gonna draw a, draw a part whole model. So, Mr. Nang, Mr. Cheng. Okay, this is the question together. So, Mr. Nang, we know, is 620 meters. Mr. Cheng, we know, is 341 meters. So, the question is together, how much do they have? So therefore, in this case, this will be 620 plus 341. So that means that will be 1. 2 plus 4 is 6. And this is 961 meters. So again, in the book, the problem was demonstrated as a continuation of their first. So if I continue this, this is their question. Okay, so if they, they make it so that it's a compare bar model, it's also okay. But for now, the kids are more acquainted with the part whole bar model. So it's best to demonstrate this as a part whole bar model. That concludes chapter 10. See you in the next chapter.